Hi there Capricorn, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at October 5 through October 11. And this week, Venus, the goddess of love, joins up with Mars, the spark plug of the zodiac, and Jupiter, the planet of good luck and good fortune in Virgo. A fellow Earth sign and your ninth house of overseas travel, higher education and spirituality. This is going to make for a very nice time for you indeed. If you're manly in love with somebody that lives, you know, interstate or overseas, this is make it or break it time. This is a time when you're going to have to work out if you're willing to make that move, to give up what you know and love and move. And it's not easy because being a Capricorn, you're a bit of a homebody and you like to have your things and your friends and your you like your job and your family, and you might have to move to the ends of the earth, but why not just give it a go? I think these planets are going to entice you so strongly that it's going to be hard for you to rationalize your way out of it. For those of you who are hoping for a job transfer promotion, that could very well happen with Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, all transiting hard-working Virgo. Also, the Sun in Libra meets up with rebellious Uranus this week and you know it's really going to be all about being a little bit of a rebel with a cause and, and being that you are a conservative sign for the most part this is definitely going to set you you know make you excited and get you set up to do something really exciting something that's going to be good for you, something that is going to enhance your life in ways you never thought of. Capricorns, the year is clear now of retrograde activity. Mercury is not going retrograde again. Venus is not going retrograde again. We've got smooth sailing. It's really important that we take advantage of that. And for you, with three major players in Virgo, if you know anyone born under the sign of Virgo, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There's no black, there's only black and white, there's no grey. It's either yes or no. It's a very definitive energy. And I think it's going to be a really good prompter for you to simply get on with whatever it is you want to get on with and stop making excuses and stop saying, I could have, would have, should have, but I can't. And really delving into life and grabbing it and saying, okay, I'm stuck in a rut, I've got to dig my way out, I'm going to get a big shovel and dig my way out of that rut and I'm going to go into uncharted territory and I'm going to brave it and I'm going to make it my own because you can do it, Capricorns. The planets are begging you to do it. You know, and now that Mercury is moving direct this weekend, there'll be no hiccups in plans. If you do want to travel or if you want to do your resume and shop yourself around and you're not going to get caught, you know, making copies of your resume in the photocopier and your boss says, you're out. You know, obviously you can't be using, uh, with them knowing their resources to get yourself another job. That's not going to happen. That's, well, it shouldn't happen. That's like, you know, calamity times 20. Hopefully, now that Mercury is moving direct, things are going to be a lot smoother sailing for you and you'll be able to see a lot of your dreams come to fruition, which you have to be the catalyst. You have to be the dream catcher and you have to act on it. Have a wonderful week. Great speaking to you. And most of all, be kind to yourself, Capricorns.